The new requirement that really were pushed by the Opal Voxel brand was really the need to have an intuitive system, something that is aligned with the detox to the max of simple and pure. What Opal and Voxel really want to deliver to the customer is really getting down to the essentials, the basic needs of the customer at that moment, so that as you drive your vehicle, you know where to go, you know where to answer your phone, you know how to input your navigation system, and it becomes so much simpler and so much easy to interact. The goal for us is to reduce the digital noise that our customers experience when they're driving so they can come out of that car feeling recharged, feeling energized, and feeling joyful. Car makers today require very specific silicon for their needs. First of all, it needs to be automotive grade. Second, those requirements inside car are different than a TV set or a mobile phone. And considering that the development of such chips like the Snapdragon processor is taking up to three years, we need to engage very early with car manufacturers to make sure that those products are being delivered on time with the right feature set and the right cost point to enable features as required. In this program, we had a several of challenges to overcome. First of all, there were those uh, demanding boot requirements. The system had to be up and running within a few seconds. You have to have the rear view camera in two seconds. You have audio warnings and, and chimes being played within a very short time. And then also the entire system has to be up within reasonable time. Today, smartphones require 30 seconds to boot. No one would really agree on the same boot time within a car. So this got managed and I think we met finally the Opel requirements. Requirements. Second, there was a very demanding audio requirement in terms of uh, high quality audio, but also then in terms of the voice recognition system inside the car, both running on Snapdragon's DSP processor. Several teams, several companies developed and delivered into this feature. And within all those teams, we actually managed to really achieve a very good performance and a very good uh, voice recognition system, now helping drivers, but also co-drivers to navigate through the complex system inside the car. And I would say, last but not least, it's also um, the responsiveness of, of the system. Whenever you touch a button, you expect the system to behave and to move. This is within all those concurrency requirements um, for us as a technology provider, a very challenging thing. As you can imagine, when you have a massive set of requirements that you're expecting to be delivered, there's got to be so many challenges that we experience. So bringing all of the different pieces of the puzzle together and making sure that the speed of the system was kept, the way that these components and the, the way that these different suppliers and the interactions and the integration of those was done in a way where the customer would never know that there's multiple suppliers. And I believe the way that Qualcomm has, has brought all those pieces together through the Snapdragon um, engine, it just helped solve a lot of these problems. So we helped the um, Opel team, the Stellantis team, by uh, with customization, creating their own hardware fitting to their size requirements. Requirements. We also helped in developing additional software features on top of this platform and we helped debugging bugs of course. Overall this was a quite complex program to us with many other software vendors involved and actually our account managers also stepped and orchestrated this collaboration to overcome some of the technical hurdles. Every project has a story to tell and the thing that I am most proud of when I sit in that Astro is I know the stories of all of the team members who played a role in that. We played the unplayable piano. We were able to achieve something that was so difficult, so a mountain that was very, very difficult to climb, and we did it as a team. So for me, it's really about the team. The overall program went quite well, and we um, supported the start of production of Opel on time. And therefore, I think this was also something which was of concern to Opel. And because of the success we had here, we are already discussing the next generations with Opel to even be more successful and bring more features to the car.